Lars, Jozef en ik, wij willen graag ja, samen een reis maken. Hallo, welkom to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno. As we go on our own road trip, as we attend the UK charity film premiere of Come As You Are. Dat is fijn. Heb jij ooit al een vrouw gehad, Jozef? Een wijnroute. Een wijnroute. Ik wil je weten hoe dat voelt, een vrouwenlijf. Complex. Ik wil seks. Ik wil poepen. I'm really excited and uh, the movie's come full circle. So um, it's come from my idea right round to, um, yeah, back to London. So I'm, I'm buzzing. And can you share with us what the inspiration of the story was? Yep, um, it was inspired by a BBC documentary um, that uh, showed me and two guys going to lose our virginities in Spain on the BBC. Um, yeah, and then it was made into this absolutely amazing feature film. And what I saw seeing the film was the testament to the human spirit. Um, is that something that was important for you? Yeah, definitely. I, I think it, it shows real friendship and independence between three guys, which every disabled person deserves and can can do you know like did you offer any consultancy on the film yeah i did we were uh, i was right there through filming and we were in malaga and everywhere and i taught them how to hold their mouth sticks while they were typing and stuff so yeah it was, it was i was there all the way and and um, continuing on from that you're a, a, a charity campaigner can you tell us about the charity that you've launched as well please? yeah we've we've launched intimacy for all and we're helping people with disabilities gain access to um, that intimacy they re they want. Um, and we're going to open a therapy centre in the UK. I think that's what the, the film did emphasise a lot and dealt with it tactfully as well, is the need that everybody you know, that's a human being needs to be loved and, and tactile. Well, everyone needs to be loved. Everyone likes a hug. You know, everyone, everyone has that desire for love. We, we, that's what we were born with. You know, it's a gene. Kan ik toch moeilijk aan mijn ouders vragen om mij naar een bordeel te voeren in Spanje? Mama en papa die willen dat niet, dat weet ik. Maar wij gaan toch. Ik ga mee. Het came in a very easy way for me at least. Because uh, uh, Mariano, the producer, he saw, he saw the documentary for one night only by uh, Asta made about this adventure. And uh, so they contacted Asta. I think it is a very nice feature in, in, in your documentary. Uh, can we do that? And so he trusted these Belgian guys he didn't know before. Uh, and so the producer wrote quite an extensive treatment himself and then uh, he had this good idea to come to me and ask if I wanted uh, to write the screenplay. I say good idea because it's, it was such a beautiful story uh, to be able to write and, and so I said I pretended to hesitate but of course I, I, I immediately wanted to write uh, that, that story. Uh, so, so it's one of those gifts that's given to you and, uh, and a very nice one. Uh, uh, and then I, s I sat down with uh, Geoffrey, director Mariano, to see if, because it's important if you work together, we knew each other, but we never had worked together before. And it's important to know that you want to say, to make the same movie, the same tone, and, uh, which, and well, we agreed almost immediately, and so I, s I started writing, and it was a very, very easy <laughs> write, and very easy to write, and, uh, uh, and, Financing went very quickly, so a year later already we were shooting the movie, so uh, uh, it, uh, it's one of those nice nice things. You said, you said that it was a, a, quite an easy screenplay to write, mm -hmm. but when you're writing um, characters for three, three different leads that have three different disabilities, mm -hmm. does that make it more complicated for you to, to write that into the screenplay? No, I think, I mean, I took them as real characters with their flaws and their, their nice sides, and then, I mean, it's then you imagine, okay, if they check into a hotel and they want to be on their own, what can happen to them? And, and, and I mean, it's, it's part of your job to, 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 to be able to, to translate that and, and, and use it creatively and, and make them do things and, and uh, throw obstacles in front of their way. So uh, uh, it was, yeah, sometimes you always have to, to say that you suffer for it, but, but this was really, it was a, a, a really a fun screenplay to write and, and, and and well, it never stopped. I mean, shooting went great, and, and response has been huge uh, everywhere. So, well, it's, it's interesting, well, because because it has very, a lot of very comic moments that that come out of um, human imperfection, you know. And and did you find that easy to write into into the into the screenplay? Yeah, maybe I've, I, I suppose I have these streaks inside of me also, the, the, the good things and the bad things and the nasty ones. So <laughs> they must be there somewhere. Uh, but it's it's a 
it's a genre I like to write, mixing, mixing. Not, I, I don't call them comedies because I don't think they're the real comedies, but but with lots of humor and lots of emotions and and, and I, I think yeah, that, I think it's 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 a genre. It's it's like good coat. I, I like pulling it down. It's 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 uh, it's really. The thing that really stood out as well was that the characters, they're beautifully mm. carved. I mean, each character has their own personality and you get to do the journey mm. and see all different facets of that. Mm. Clearly, that was very important to you to, to make them all three individual people with something to offer. Yeah, because, I mean, you put four characters in, in a small van eh? because that, that's how they end up to. And, and, well, and of course, you choose them as differently as possible because that's what makes them interesting. And, and, and and we had a nice, a nice, not a nice discussion because when I put those characters in the van in my screenplay, I said, "Okay, where do you put them? Uh, where do you put each one of them? Because you have to decide that for for to be able to write." And so, of course, I, I put Philip the nasty one. I put him in the back, so he, he had to shout to the front of the to Claude, who is sitting, who is driving the van in the front, and and less in any way thinking in the middle position. Uh, also between the two others, literally, and and Joseph is in, is in the front. He's closest to Claude but he doesn't see her so 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 that's that's I mean that was just fun to 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 position them in also in that very practical way in 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 the van and 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 paid off so that's Claude yeah yeah that's Claude that is a vrouw can we turn in a new coat on my vrouw hey he's weg we zijn vertrokken the script was was uh, was brilliant Pierre did a did a great job um, writing all round characters all the way but but he gave us the space uh, together with with the director to really uh, get around the table and work on this uh, small details. So so it was uh, I mean the the um, playing these characters is is really thanks to the team that supported us because we had this space uh, uh, we we received it from from the screenwriter and the director. So yeah, that's how we we got to it. And for, for me, the heart of the film is this struggle for like independence, and, and I think it showed as well the testament of the human spirit. Um, and I think by seeing the disabilities of these people and seeing that they just they're just the same as any other teenager that needs to be free and liberated. Did you feel that as well from the story? Yeah, but the, the thing is, the, the, the losing your virginity, it's something a lot of people take for, for granted, but it's not that easy for everyone, not for disabled people, but also for not disabled people. And I think the, the movie, uh, the, the, the characters are really transparent, and you can really see why and how they want to achieve their goal. And uh, yeah. That's well, it is, I suppose you're able-bodied or disabled. We still need to connect this, as human beings. Yeah. Well, the the it, it's it's not it's not a story about disabilities. I think it's a story about possibilities, and and I think it's a story about friendship and love. And and we didn't approach the characters any other way that we would have done with with non-disabled characters. So it was it was a gift given to us, and and. Hopefully, when you when you watch them, you're not watching disabled people. You're just watching people of, of flesh and flesh and blood. And you mentioned f uh, friendship as well in the film. You two really do bounce off each other very well. Your characters, don't you? And, and provide a lot of the comedy, don't you, in the in the film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, ho I hope so. <laughs> Thank, I you. Hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But there's they also there's. Um, you're, you're also, you, you see complexities in your characters yeah. um, as well, and uh, you do all go on an emotional journey individually as, as, as characters, don't you? Did you feel that as well? Yeah, I mean, I mean my character, the Lars I play, it has a whole different journey than, um, uh, for example, Philip's, because my character is ill and, and he's maybe on his last trip, he doesn't know, he has cancer, so it was, uh, we, we all had our um, uh, own um, uh, backgrounds and, and the own research to do so it's it's all it's these three different lives well four actually because the driver is also intermingled with um, but but it was yeah I think it's uh, what what makes the movie rich it's it's to see these three characters uh, evolving around each other and, and with regards to working with the with the director were you more reliant on him to to, to uh, his judgment really on how you're put we, the we, really, really, but not, yeah, he was really important, but also we asked a lot to each other because we, at the beginning, we were really afraid if we, if, you, if as an actor, if you don't pull it off, 
you can shoot yourself. It's like driving a motorcycle. Yeah. If you people, don't get it people off, you won't die. forgive you no. playing this badly. <laughs> they will, will never. So the director was was a really big help, and we asked each other all the time. You like, do you believe this? Is this genuine? Is this real? Is this fresh? So, but but the director uh, did a, did a fantastic job with him. Yeah, it was our first time. we uh, my yeah. first time working with him. Oh boy, yes. Oh boy, yes. <laughs> You play the character of Joseph, yes. who's blind, um, yeah, for me, or partially blind, for me, in the film, he sees more than everybody else around him. Yeah, that's not a nice thing, that's true. But also, for me, it's, it's a bit also a bit in his own world where it's nicer and, and, and uh, he's such, yeah. I, I, innocence. Yeah. He's a, a, a bit of naivety, yeah. A bit, a lot of naivety. Yeah. But compared with the other two guys who kind of, they bounce off each other yeah. um, a lot. And, and in some respects, we're a little, are a little immature. You, ta you seem to add the, the, the maturity and the stability between yeah. the three of them. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's true. He's a bit older too. <laughs> no, it's true. He's a bit, he, he uh, how do you say it? He, he makes it a bit... It makes a bit of balance in the, in, in, in the, the whole thing. I think without uh, Joseph, they would be uh, uh, at uh, after one day they would be at home. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> and when, as you as an actor, um, when you first read the script and, and the part, what, what was it? What was the heart of him playing Joseph for you that was that you wanted to do? Um, at first, I, I loved the script. When I read it, it was. The, the 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 characters are so real, from flesh and blood. There, I you you immediately immediately love them. And like Joseph, um, I always when I prepare for a role, I have to like my character. And for Joseph, it was not that difficult. But I have to love them, even if I play a bad guy, or I have to have sympathy for them. And uh, and uh, yeah, for Joseph, that was. That was easy for <laughs> he was he's such a nice guy and and uh, and but I don't know if you if you, if you have seen the documentary oh, it's based on no well in in the documentary there is also uh, someone who is partially sighted uh, Lee and there were a lot of things that I liked about him he, that, that he he also had something that he was like somewhere else and he was enjoying himself <laughs> while the other two guys were. We're quarreling or, or talking or when Asta with, uh, with uh, I, I, I can't remember the, the other, um, Lee and yeah sorry um, it was it has been a long time ago that I saw it uh, that he was always there and I'm oh, okay I, I like it here uh, I'm uh, I'm on holiday and it was always uh, yeah in good form. And when you're, you're obviously dealing with somebody who, where you've got to physically transform as an actor. Um, how did you deal with that as well as maybe mentally dealing with what your character's going through? How much? How did you prepare for that? Um, first I, I, I prepared uh, mostly physically also because yeah, you have the scenario it's all in there eh? but then you have to prepare uh, physically also. Um, and I first I looked a lot at uh, the documentary to Lee, uh, how he is, is how he was walking around with a stick. Uh, it was really straight. What he does with his eyes when he sits down? How does he sit down? That he first touches, uh, he looks for the chair. Where can I sit? Things like that. I, and also I have, I have a friend, and he is. Uh, um, he is par partially sighted, is, is that right? Partially sighted. Yeah, partially sighted. And uh, I talked with him a lot and observed him a lot. Uh, what does he do if I move myself? How does he look for me with his eyes? Uh, things like that. And uh, I came in contact with the Braille League. It's a league for, for the blind in Belgium. And uh, yeah, there I talked also a lot with the blind, blind persons. And, uh, and um, they learned me how to walk with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> things like that and yeah it was fun to prepare myself I was a bit scared in the beginning because uh, you really want to do it well because when you get something fragile like this it has to be good otherwise yeah it would be my last movie I think <laughs>